In this lesson, we'll add line work to the head portion of our cartoon duck by using the pencil tool. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we have the sketch of our cartoon duck, and we're going to be focusing again just on the three-quarter view of our character, breaking him down into different pieces um, so that they can all be animated individually for a cutout styled um, animation, all right? So in between lessons, I basically kind of continued working on this sketch, um, basically trying to refine the different shapes and forms of just these different attributes that make up the character. You'll also notice that I sketch the side and front views of this character, and this is something that you don't have to do by any means, but I just kind of found it helpful in just kind of really nailing down the overall shape and form of some of these different parts of the body, namely the beak right there, which was kind of can, can be a little bit challenging just in the way I've got it shaped there. And so I did this by using the grid that's available to us if you click on this little grid button in your drawing view toolbar. And so this kind of allows me to um, not only nail down those proportions and those forms a little bit more accurately, but it also kind of allows me to just kind of also maintain a level of consistency with these additional views that I've drawn if I want to use those um, for another scene later on. Okay, so let's go ahead now and create a new layer down here in our layers section. I'm just going to click on this button right here, and we're going to call it head since we're going to be focusing on adding line work um, to the main head portion. Now you'll notice everything disappeared when we did that, and that's because we're not clicked on the sketch layer itself or the accompanying cell. We're on a new layer now. So in order to see all the other layers that we don't have selected, we can click on this button right here that takes us into kind of a, a light table mode um, where all the other layers that were not selected um, are kind of ghosted out now, okay? Okay, great. So next, let's go ahead and make sure we're using um, our vectorized line um, swatch over here. You could use black if you want. Uh, whatever line work that you plan to use for your entire character, um, try to keep it consistent. Don't switch in between black and vectorized line. Um, this is kind of important, especially if you want to um, group together or flatten some of these um, these lines that we're going to be putting down, some of these vector lines that we're going to be putting down um, as we move forward. And we'll kind of demonstrate that um, in the following lesson. And then finally, before we start drawing, um, you'll notice that we're, we've got this little button right here highlighted. And this means we're in our line art mode, OK? So we have these different modes right here. And you can really think of these modes as kind of like layers. They're layers for each individual layer that we have down here. Um, in our layer section, okay? So on, say, our head layer, we can keep our line work separate and our color um, um, our color that we'll use, um, apply later on separate as well. And then this button will allow us to preview them both together. Now you should see this if you're using Animate Pro. However, if you're using Animate, there's a possibility that you don't see this right here um, at the bottom of your drawing view. So you can very easily go up here to Edit, Preferences, and in your preferences dialog box, uh, I believe you can click on general. And then somewhere right around here, it's not visible in harmony, but you should have some sort of advanced category with a little box that you can check to basically add those different drawing modes, okay? So in case you're using animate, you may want to go ahead and do that. All right, let's go ahead and grab our pencil tool right here. And so all of our different drawing tools here in Toon Boom are vector-based drawing tools. So if you've been using Adobe Illustrator, for example, um, a lot of the stuff we'll be talking about should be um, familiar territory for you, okay? Let's go ahead and zoom in here on our Cartoon Duck's head, all right? And let's go ahead and just kind of talk briefly about the pencil tool and how it works and what it has to offer. So let's just draw a line right now. Okay, if we grab our selection tool right there and just select it, you'll see that we have what we call a central vector line extending right down the center or the middle of that pencil, uh, that pencil line that we just drew. And so what this signifies is that we're going to always have a level of consistency with our pencil lines. Uh, we can't adjust the, the width of the line itself, the thickness or thinness of it. So that means that each side of that central vector line is always going to be the same width. And this also means if we were even to scale it up, just still select it there and just scaling it up, we can see that that, that thickness is still um, very much the same as it was before we did that. 
Now what we can do is grab our contour editor tool right here. And this basically brings up some little points um, just kind of throughout the line here. And so you can grab those points and bend the line, basically change the path in which the line flows, right? Now you can also grab the, the contour, the, the central vector line itself to change the overall flow of the line. You can click on um, one of the additional little um, points right there. It'll, it'll change um, to white and kind of give you these Bezier handles that you can also kind of control and further refine um, how your line is flowing um, to your to your liking. Now a nice little tidbit is you can hold down alt and click on one of these little handles and it'll just adjust it'll just modify the line in between those two points. So the, these are just a few things that you may want to get acquainted with when using the pencil tool. Let's go ahead and delete that pencil line. We'll go ahead and hold down spacebar, kind of readjust our canvas here and I'm zooming in just hitting uh, control equals on the keyboard again I'm using those um, Adobe flash keyboard preferences alright so let's go ahead and grab our pencil tool once again and come over here to our tool properties and just we're not going to cover all of the different settings for the pencil tool I'm um, here in the tool properties but just a, a few here to get you kind of warmed up to the tool if you've never used it before so we've been using just this pencil one um, brush tip right here but if you click and expand this you can see that we have a lot of different types of brush tips that we can use um, I know that some of these right here may not be available to you if you're using um, animate Pro or Animate, but you should have a nice variety to kind of pick from and just kind of play around with these. Um, again, the same principles that we just talked about with that initial pencil line still apply to any of these others, even these custom ones where it appears that the width um, is um, different throughout the stroke where it's kind of tapered on the ends. The same principles apply. We can't go in and adjust that width, that thickness or thinness uh, by any means, okay? All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and use this uniform pencil style so we have a nice consistency for the most part um, on our character. And we also have a couple of little sliders right here if you want to adjust the, the maximum um, width of the brush, the maximum it can be, as well as the minimum as well. I'm actually going to keep it back down here right around 6.4. Um, I think that'll look pretty nice. So let's go ahead and run with that. So let's go ahead now and zoom in and we're gonna focus on the main head portion of the head so this is basically how I started out the sketch if you recall um, I just kinda of started out with a circular shape and then we built on it from there so again I can grab my contour editor tool and I can adjust that shape uh, to my liking so that's feeling uh, pretty nice and then let's go ahead and grab our pencil tool once again and I want these tufts of hair to also be a part of this main head shape now I'm not worried about these overlapping lines right now I'm just trying to work quickly and fluidly and not waste a lot of time trying to have those perfect um, later on in the next lesson we'll talk about using a really powerful tool to basically quickly clean those up okay Okay, so we want to have this piece separate and these other pieces connected to it. Um, that way, if we want to adjust or switch out drawing substitutions for any of these other pieces, we can easily do that. So let's create a new layer, and I'm going to call this layer Cheeks. So we're going to focus on this little piece right here that will set in between the main headpiece and the beak, and it's kind of this feathered little cheeky area that he has. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. I'm just kind of zooming in here and we'll just outline this main piece here so something kind of like that just kinda of getting those little feathers kinda of trying to match it up to my sketch underneath so I am using a Wacom stylus with a Cintiq and so you may slightly notice that as I draw these lines that they may appear to be um, the thickness may be uh, uh, starting to appear like it's being um, variated, um, just a little bit of variation there with the thickness and thinness. And that's just because Toon Boom is recognizing that I have a pressure sensitive stylus. But again, um, this comes back to the tool we're using, the pencil tool. So it's not going to allow us to um, vary that thickness up by any means. So I'm just using my contour editor tool right now. And we may want to click on that point. Let's try deleting that one, kind of see what it gives us and then we'll kind of readjust the 
the line there. So that's feeling a little bit nicer there. And again, I'm not worried about those overlapping lines. We're going to be using a tool to adjust that. Let's go ahead now and finish out this lesson by doing the outlines for the eyes, okay? So I want to go ahead and title that layer eyes, and I want to keep both of these eyes on the same layer, right? Um, th that way, if I want to basically insert some drawing substitutions just for the eyes, I very easily can do so. And I like the idea of the eyes being in between the head and the cheeks. I like the idea of having that little tuft of feather on the cheeks kind of overlapping the eye. kind of adds a slight little bit of cuteness to the character, I think. Okay, now we're not going to mess with the pupils of the eyes. We're going to tackle that in a later lesson where we'll use one of our vector-based uh, shape tools to kind of get a nice circular shape for the eyes. Okay? All right, so in our next lesson, we're going to talk about the brush tool, all right, and what it has to offer and how it differs from the pencil tool, okay? And then we'll also talk about the cutter tool. And so the cutter tool is what we're going to use to basically very quickly overlapping lines. All right, so stick around and we'll see you in the next lesson.